Hello everybody and welcome back to another watch video and I'm so excited about doing this video this morning that I've, I've messed this up several times and I have to keep restarting the shoots basically. This is the brand new Casio G-Shock Carbon Core Guard Mudmaster. Model number is ggb 100 1AER. And I've been waiting for this watch now for around about four months. Been waiting for it to become available on the G-Shock website, which I'll link below. You can, you'll be able to see there's three different versions of this available at the moment. And I've gone obviously with the one you can see here, which is the, the red seconds hand with red highlights around uh, the face and other bits and pieces. There's a, again, I'll put the link below so you can see what the yellow one looks like and what the orange band one looks like as well. This is the one that appealed to me the most. My previous Mudmaster, uh, which I've got in the collection, is actually um, the yellow one, the one with the with the yellow highlights on it. And this this particular uh, Mudmaster is not multiband six. It doesn't charge off solar. It's got a apparently it's got a two year battery life. So again, depending on how much you use the different functions on it will determine basically how long the battery lasts. So um, you, you can actually hook it up to a mobile phone via Bluetooth, which I won't be doing at the moment because I've not got a smartphone that I use. I've got an old uh, an old Sony Ericsson Walkman phone that I use as my mobile phone. But you don't need a mobile phone to get the most use out of this watch anyway. There's just little bits and bits of extras you can do with it. And thus hooking it up to a mobile phone as well means that uh, it'll it'll update the time from the mobile phone. So if your mobile phone's connected to the internet and that updates its date and time, this will update its time as well in relation to that. So that's why I think there's no multiband six involved in, in, in this one at the moment. But not a big issue. They probably gain round about, what, five to 10 seconds a month in my experience. You know, and, and again, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna link below the, the link to the website for this so you can have a look in depth at the more details and stuff like that. Um, so again, literally just unwrapped this, looking at the tag here, so as usual it's got all the gubbins on there uh, about what the watch does. Shock resistant, mud resistant, 20 bar water resistance, 200 meters in other words. Uh, this has got a quad sensor on it. The previous watches that I have that are similar to this and the previous Mudmaster They've got the ABC functionality, so altimeter, barometer, compass. This has got compass, altimeter, thermometer, step counter. Well, barometer is it's, it's within the same functionality usually as the uh, as uh, the thermometer and barometer are usually in the same functionality together. That is what I'm trying to say, guys. Sorry, let me put my teeth back in. Um, so yeah, it's got a step counter on this, which is quite handy, really, if you're into tracking your steps and stuff. There you go, you can knock yourself out with that. I, I like that functionality myself, quite cool. So yeah, Bluetooth link, world time and super illuminator. So of course that means there's two LEDs on the, on the case in there that highlights the whole face and then highlights the negative display, digital display there for better visibility in the dark or at night time, etc. Okay, so there's the bits and pieces that come with it. So kind of a little bit more of, of what's going on there and some nice kind of skeleton shots and stuff like that. Really, really nice. Warranty card, the usual bump. Um, the manual this time, uh, surprisingly enough, is very, very thin. It's got all the multi-languages in it, so everybody's covered. But ultimately, it, it's kind of directing you to the online manual, which I downloaded as soon as it was available a few weeks ago anyway. So again, I kind of know how to use these kind of watches anyway, with owning other ABC watches from Casio, but it's just handy to have the manual as a reference as well, because sometimes they do things slightly different across the range and that. So I've not even put this on yet. Like I say, I've set it up, but I've not even put it on. So we'll just have a quick look at some of the features and uh, we'll have a look at the case back and everything like that. Right, here we go. So hopefully that's in focus there for getting a closer look at the front of the watch. I've just took the tags off and stuff so they're not getting in the way. I'll tell you what's quite obvious straight away with this one. If you've had experience with the previous Mudmaster, the the uh, analog digi 
combined mud master there, uh, which is quite hefty. This is very light, and I think it's all in the name really, carbon core guard. So putting carbon bits and pieces into the watch makes things a little bit lighter. You can kind of see that that bezel there is the uh, is the carbon core guard there. Very nice. I like the look of that. Again, I, I you know I've said it before really when talking to friends and stuff about these kind of watches. I like the military kind of feel to them, the military look. And by the way, at the moment I'm wearing my Mudman. That's my watch I've been wearing for the past week. This is uh, solar powered. No multiband six on that, but I'll do a video about that in the future. Again, with those with the Mudman there, it's got the nice mascot on the back of the mole with the drill <laughs> and the compass and stuff. Really, really nice. But back to this anyway. So what I like about this, it's a lovely looking display that it really is. And of course, with the digital display at the bottom there, you can kind of put it onto digital time if you want to. And again, that kind of lets you check if the seconds hand is in proper synchronization there. Step counter, 31. That's just me moving around with it and messing about with it and stuff. Uh, Monday, 5th of the 8th. And then back to the barometer screen, which is what I tend to leave these watches on, these ABC watches with that display. Uh, it's jumped up there, it's spiked up because I've increased the, the actual barometer count it, it was from its default so there's the trend there's like a trend graph there that you can see and I've I've changed it so it's kind of shot up there on the trend no big deal really it'll do that anyway when you're driving around and moving around etc um, so barometer 10 10 at the minute you've got the differential there as well so if that starts to suddenly creep up you'll see it creep up around the edges and then every two hours or so it is, the, the, the graph updates to give you that trend. I believe, yeah, pushing that, you can extend the trend line there for uh, for a better look at that, basically. Probably a 48-hour one there, as opposed to the shorter ones of the previous model. So back onto 1010. Temperature, 25.8 degrees. That's not entirely accurate at the moment. It will be when I've messed around with it a little bit more and got it all uh, got it all set up. Uh, you can take records as well from the various screens. Uh, you, you know your altimeter, altimeter, whatever you want to call it. You can take various readings and store them. I believe that transfers across to the to the phone if you've got the phone hooked up to it. Um, sunrise and sunset, based on your your home town or home city, sorry, which is London on this on the range, man. You can actually put in your, your exact position with the bearings, latitude and longitude and all that, and it'll give you a, a to the point reference for sunrise and sunset. But it's about right. It's out by about 10 minutes on the sunset, but no big deal because obviously it, it'll go darker a little bit later in the north compared to London. Stopwatch is what it is. Timer is what it is as well. And then the alarm, so we've got the signal there, and then we've got five alarms and the signal. And with this being, uh, you know what I'm like, what I've said before with Casio as well, when you put the signal on, you get the little bell that appears down in the uh, in the right hand side. I love the little bell symbol on the on the old watches and stuff like that. It reminds me of being a kid. We've kind of gone through that before, but really, really cool. World time set to New York City and uh, daylight savings is on at the moment as well there. The watch has auto daylight savings as well if you've not got it hooked up to a phone so it'll change its, itself automatically. You can turn that on or off uh, but it'll do it in conjunction with a, watch if, uh, with a phone if you've got it hooked up to a phone as well. And then back to the time there and then basically you've got the compass which is on the top right button there and then you've got the altitude which is on this one as well I've got that set at the moment as well to 470 feet above sea level at the moment again the, the, the previous range man model that I've got with its GPS functionality kind of corrects that as it's uh, as it's going along with the GPS 
this you'll have to keep an eye on it and make sure you take certain references when you're hiking and stuff so from a map or from a, a signpost or something and correct it accordingly to keep it right because of the shifting barometer uh, pressure and stuff like that so back to time and then like I said you've got a connect, a connect button on the side there for connecting it up to your mobile phone now I may do a future video on that I, I have got access to a smartphone but I've not got it set up yet so I may do another follow-up video to this and we'll, we'll have a look at that you see so that's a little bit about the watch and the, the functions and stuff uh, use and comfort like I said I've not even put this on yet I've not put it on my wrist we'll do a, a wrist shot in a minute or two so you can get an idea of what it looks like on my uh, on my wrist I mean like I say I've got the mud man on at the moment so it's not going to be much different than that if anything this is going to be a little bit lighter no problems with comfort from any of these G-Shock watches that I've ever had anywhere. They're all very, very comfortable. Um, so yeah, I mean, the, the, the graph here at the top, the indicators at the top there to do with the compass, degrees and stuff like that, it tells you what the degrees are in this negative display screen anywhere. You can switch it between an actual north, south, east, west, you know, burring display in there or an, an actual an actual figure of degrees as well it's entirely up to yourself how you want to use it it's as simple as that so yeah it's going to be comfortable I'm going to be wearing this permanently for the for the moment I'm going to be doing my walk tomorrow so that'll be handy using the step counter and stuff like that um, don't know if it'll pick it up on there there's the light you can have it set to one or three seconds as usual with these kind of watches like I've said before guys if you've if you've owned a previous ABC watch from Casio, you kind of know what you're getting here with this thing, it's uh, it's very very nice you know you've got to keep stroking a new thing as well <laughs> okay so we've got the, the clasp here, just a plain clasp uh, you've got the G-Shock logo on the keeper there um, Casio Thailand on the inside of the, of the buckle there so nice double clasp there as well, I like them really nice and then on the back of the watcher you've got this really nice kind of back that has a little bit of information on there about the model number carbon core guard branding as well there very 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 nice and then here that's the sensor there so that's your ABC sensor and it's red I like red it's red on the previous model that I've got as well, the previous Mudmaster. Then you've got these nice kind of Allen key screwed in strap connectors here, which I assume somewhat you can you can mod these and stuff like that, guys, to put a NATO strap on them. I'm not bothered about doing that. If it came with a NATO strap on it, I'd wear it with a NATO strap. So there's a quick shot of it on the wrist as well. I almost forgot about that bit. I'm so excited about this. So there it is, very very comfortable, very very light, took off the mud, uh, the mud man and it just doesn't feel like I've put anything back on my wrist, it's really nice. So a little bit more information there, mud resist, uh, just the usual branding and other bits and pieces, compass, water resistant to 20 bar, you know, I don't think there's anything on there, shock resist, there you go, so that kind of paraphernalia, all adds up to a... A nice product really in my opinion, I love it, I love the Casio brand, I love the G-Shock brand as well, very very nice. So there you go guys, that is it, that is my new watch, I'm absolutely thrilled to bits with it, I'm going to give this some hammer and get it used now from today and uh, take it from there. So if you've got any questions about the watch, again get involved in the comments below, ask any questions you want, give us a bit of feedback on the video as well and also I'll put the links there to Discord and Twitch if you want to get involved on my Twitch channel when I'm live give us a shout and ask some questions about any of the watches that are featured on this YouTube channel or any of the other bits and pieces on the YouTube channel anything really give us a shout and, uh, and ask the question happy to help okay guys thanks for stopping by look after yourselves and I will catch up with you all in the next video take it easy